So that's where I found myself. There I was in the emergency department, treating patients as they came in with COVID-19. And once we had the rapid test so I can confirm the diagnosis, my first patient, who I needed to give hydroxychloroquine and zinc to, I did it, and, and even knowing the kind of the controversy, I really didn't think twice about it. It, it. I don't know. It was fine. I gave it to her. I actually called her the next day. She was so much better. She herself got better within about 12 hours. In about 48 hours, she was essentially completely well. This completely matched what I had read in the scientific literature. I knew many doctors who had done this. I'd read many journal articles. It was, com it was, it was completely consistent. What was really shocking and completely inconsistent was my medical director, who calls me the next day and threatens to fire me for doing this, this treatment. It was, it was I, I can't even tell you, to the, even as I describe this moment to you, it's shocking to me. I remember the case, the situation, the conversation, and he's saying he's going to fire me. And I said, why would you fire me over this? Well, I don't think it works. I said, well, then don't prescribe it. <laughs> you know, you haven't read the science the way I have. I know it works. You'll change your mind in a couple of months when, you know, you get a little wiser. But why would you get involved with, with you know, me treating a patient? You do your thing, I do my thing. That's how medicine is practiced. We are licensed as individuals. It's actually against the law to have what's called a corporate practice of medicine where you know corporation practices for you. It has to be the individual doctor's physician. That's why patients go to multiple doctors, right? You know. And, and really, the, almost the worst part of the conversation was not even that he was ignorant that the drug worked, but his reasons for saying that he was going to fire me if I did this. And the reason, which he put in writing because he wasn't so smart, <laughs> he said it was because the, the, the biggest payer at that hospital, which is a large insurance company that everyone here has heard of that's back on the West Coast mainly, didn't want us to prescribe it. They were blocking it. So that payer insurance company was pressuring the hospital that their doctor shouldn't do it. It had nothing to do